Hey guys, Relic here, and um, today I'll be doing an educational video. Um, I'm going to be talking about these maple leaf buckings. Um, but before I do that, I first need to explain how Hopper works so to get everybody on the same page. Um, so, every ass of gun has inside it an inner barrel um, through which the BBs are fired. So, let's say this is the inner barrel. Uh, this is the muzzle end. The BBs go in here and they get fired through that way. Inside the barrel is a cutout through which a tiny piece of rubber protrudes into the barrel on which uh, the BB which catches the BBs to give them backspin. Um, this is called the hop-up mount. Well this is the hop-up window and the rubber that goes into, is, into it is called the hop-up mount. Um, so, the way that works is there is a hopper bucking around it, which is a rubber sleeve, which has a tiny mound here, which protrudes into the barrel. On top of that, there is a nub, and on top of that is some kind of arm, which pushes the nub down. So, the arm is pushed down usually manually by uh, some kind of mechanism. Um, the hop-up dial actually uh, applies pressure on this arm. Um, that pushes on the nub, the nub pushes on the bucking and the bucking goes into the barrel which catches the BBs. Um, so if you look through the barrel, this is the barrel, then it's gonna look like this. There's a bit of rubber shooting into the barrel and the BBs are gonna catch that rubber and they're gonna get backspin which makes them fly further. So that's the traditional hop-up design so the BBs catch the bucking at this point here and well that's how it works. Um, so then some guys at PDI um, decided hey we can make something new we can make a split mount and they made a PDI W hold bucking which looks like this so instead of just one contact point, the BB now has two contact points. Which means more grip, more consistency, more accuracy. So these buckings are better than these. Then someone decided, well, we can even make more contact surface. And that led into ideas such as uh, R hop, flat hop, G hop, J hop. Uh, maple leaf and well some other experimental ideas but what basically happens um, well let's talk about what happens with flat hop first with flat hop instead of a hop mount there's um, a whole piece of rubber being pushed into so it's flat it's not round like this it's flat and when the BB goes through this it will have more contact surface than with just one or two points. And then there's our hop and instead of a flat uh, hopper patch there's a concave hopper patch. So all these points all get in contact with the BB which means a lot of grip, a lot of consistency, a lot of accuracy. So for a set amount of force this applies the least hop-up than this and this and this applies the most hop-up the most backspin I should say and well less force is more accuracy more consistency so these are generally the most accurate hop up styles you will find um, which is an R hop which you may have heard about you may not have heard about um, it's well not hard to do but it's uh, tricky to do some people don't like taking their guns and they don't like doing this and um, it's some work you have to fine-tune it to get it perfect and it's basically a lot of effort to get it right um, no, well not a lot but it's uh, another step and if you're not good at it then um, it's a lot of work this is a lot easier you can buy a flat bucking you can buy a flat nub you can just drop it in your gun it will work like this it will not be as good as this but well let's say 90 or 95 percent of the performance but it's very easy to do so a lot of people choose for this instead so
So then some guys at Maple Leaf decided we can make something that performs as well as this, as easy to install as this. However, um, there are several kinds of Maple Leaf buggings and sometimes it can be hard to find out which one you'll need. Um, so Maple Leaf has two different kind of, kinds of uh, hop-up designs. Um, this mostly applies to VSR buckings. I'll go through the AEG ones later. Um, there's the uh, the Delta design, which looks like this, as seen from the barrel window. And there's the Diamond design, um, which looks more like this. Um, both of these, when looked at um, from the barrel, uh, through the barrel, look like this. because they're both concave patches. However, the shape of the patch is different. One is a diamond shape, the, uh, the delta triangle shape, and the other is the diamond shape. Um, this one has the most contact surface. Um, this one ends in two points rather than one, so it's a bit of a combination between an R-hop and a PDI-W hold. So this one is theoretically more consistent. And um, my real world experience has also told me the same, that this one is more consistent than this one. This one, however, has more contact surface, so it should be able to lift heavier BBs. So it could get a little farther if you can still use heavier BBs than whatever you're using already. Um, but generally, since they're both concave patches, uh, the amount of hop you can apply is not an issue. So this one, is the best one in my opinion. These are the old buckings. Uh, Maple Leaf recently also decided to make some new ones which are the Autobot and the Decepticon buckings and um, they look like this. Um, and they're basically of the same design however they have an anti-blow ring and they're made of a different rubber. Um, my personal idea is that the rubber wears out a bit faster than the old ones. I don't know why they probably use something different. I personally prefer the old ones and then the diamond ones. So this one. Um, which is this bucking we have right here. And um, oh, I've got one on a barrel here somewhere. Alright, um, this is one of the diamond buckings. And this is what it looks like on the inside. And the Delta one is pretty much the same except it ends in a single point. Um, but it doesn't have a split in the middle. So, um, well, um, then next let's talk about how to use these buckings. Um, because you can't just install one of these buckings um, like you can install any other buckings. Again, this applies to the VSR version, not to the AG version. Um, first of all, uh, when you're using a Maple Leaf bucking, um, it's important to note that the hopper patch runs all the way through the back uh, of the bucking. So, right here, there is no uh, opening. Um, so it's not going to fit on a standard uh, VSR bar barrel window. Instead, you need an open hopper window, um, which is something like this. This is an Action Army barrel. Um, the Action Army ones already come with this, uh, with an open barrel window. If you have a closed barrel window, so with a bridge over here, then you can always file it off to make one of these buckings work. Um, but it's easier if you haven't got a barrel yet to just buy one of these. So the next thing about uh, the Maple Leaf, other than the barrel, is the nub that you need. You need a concave Maple Leaf nub, or some sort of concave nub, um, which looks like this. The top of the nub is round like any other nub, the bottom part is concave. Um, so what this does, um, when you have your, your maple leaf uh, bucking, and it has this concave 
patch on the inside. If you put a normal nub on top, then it's gonna press down here and that's gonna deform the bucking because um, it's only going to get pressure on the middle. What the concave nub does, just like an M nub does for an R hop, um, is apply even pressure all over the bucking. So uh, the pressure here is equal to the pressure here is equal to the pressure here. And that means the pressure is going to be evenly distributed all over the bucking and all over the BB, which is what you want because that's the more cons most consistent, of course. Um, so you will need one of these maple leaf nubs um, to work with the maple leaf bucking. Um, well, there's the next catch because for VSR barrels um, or for VSR hop ups, um, the arm uh, doesn't accept any aftermarket nubs. You can obviously um, f mm, yeah, file the fangs off the arm and then put some sort of nub on top of it. You can also DIY your own nub out of a chunk of a pencil eraser or something like that. You could probably also use an M nub or a flat nub if you want to. Um, but again, that's not the ideal option. The concave nub is the best. Um, so the best solution for this is using the Action Army Chamber. Because the Action Army Chamber's arm does accept aftermarket nubs. Just like that. And um, that basically solves your whole problem. So if you get an Action Army Barrel, an Action Army Chamber, uh, maple leaf bucking and a maple leaf nub then you've basically got your whole barrel group covered um, you don't need to modify anything you can just install it and it's ready to go and it's going to give you pretty darn great performance um, which is pretty much a rare thing in airsoft uh, something that does great out of the box so I would really recommend an action army chamber um, however, if you don't want an Action Army Chamber because it's too expensive or because you don't like them or for whatever reason, um, then there's also the uh, Maple Leaf Hop-Up Arm, which fits into the stock uh, VSR Chamber, which also has a concave shape, uh, just like this. So instead of there being a nub underneath the arm, the arm already has uh, a concave cutout, which then applies, as f applies force on the bucking so that you don't need to uh, get an extra nub anymore. However, um, these arms suffer from horrible quality control and I would honestly just recommend getting an Action Army Chamber. It's really uh, the best bang for your buck. Um, so yeah, that covers the, uh, the VSR buckings. So I would recommend a Maple Leaf Monster Diamond bucking. Looks like this. Um, along with the maple leaf nub, the action army chamber and the action army barrel because that's a drop-in setup that's tried and proven. Um, however, if you don't have a VSR, which is, well, uh, half of the snipers out there don't have a VSR, um, then you can't do this because um, you can't install a VSR chamber in a Type 96, for example. So, if you have a Type 96, then you um, can also get an aftermarket chamber and the aftermarket Type 96 chambers actually uh, use AEG barrels and AEG buckings. Um, so, if you get an aftermarket uh, Type 96 chamber, so uh, an Action Army Type 96 chamber, along with an AEG barrel and an AEG maple leaf bucking, and again the maple leaf nub, then you've pretty much got the same setup. However, um, this whole thing uh, with the different patch designs doesn't go for the AEG Maple Leaf Buckings um, because Maple Leaf only makes this one for the AEGs. Why? I honestly don't know because honestly this one is better but they don't. Um, this one is not as great and not as stellar as this one. Um, it's more like a flat hop than an R hop but um, it's still pretty darn good. And if you can't use a VSR bucking, um, but you can use an AEG bucking, then this is still a great option and probably your best bet without doing an actual R-hop. 
Um, so, uh, as for the barrel, any AG barrel will work. You don't have to uh, get an open barrel window because AG barrels don't have an open barrel window, they're all closed. That's just the way AG barrels are. Um, the Maple Leaf AG buckings also work with closed barrels, therefore. Um, and, well, the rest of the setup is uh, just like the VSR, very much drop in. Um, well, if you don't have a VSR or a Type 96, um, but you have uh, an L96 AWS, uh, which is the Marui uh, L96 version, then you can use uh, the VSR buckings and the VSR barrels and even the VSR nubs, or the, the same nubs. You can't, however, use the Action Army Chamber as it won't fit in an L96 AWS. So you can fit all of these in stock L96 AWS chamber. And I actually have a guide on that somewhere on Airsoft Sniper Forum explaining how to install that. It's actually very easy. It's not as good as a VSR, but it's pretty darn close. So if you have an L96 AWS, then I would recommend this. Um, then there's the last common option um, before we move into the exotic rifles, um, which is the KGW uh, M700. If you have an M700, then you can use the VSR buckings, you can use the VSR barrels, you cannot, however, use the nubs. Um, fortunately, the nut that comes with the uh, M700 is already of a concave shape. Why? I don't know, but it's pretty darn great. So you can just keep the stock uh, nub along with the stock chamber and put this bucking and this barrel in it and you will have pretty much the same thing. Um, so yeah, same thing, VSR barrel, VSR bucking and that should install just fine in an M700. Um, if you have some other kind of rifle um, that is not previously listed, then you probably have to uh, do some DIYing to get it to work. Um, for example, the, the Silverback SRS, um, which is getting increasingly popular, uh, uses AG buckings, um, but they don't have a nub. Um, so if you want to install one there, then you'll have to do some custom work to get it to work. Um, but it's obviously still durable. Um, if you can install a bucking and a nub in a gun, then you can install a maple leaf in a gun. That's basically how it works. Um, I think that covers everything. Oh yeah, um, bucking hardness. Um, in the past, I would always uh, recommend uh, these buckings, the maple leaf monster diamond 70 degrees buckings. Um, why 70 degrees is um, very durable, um, 75 or 80 degrees is uh, too hard, um, basically these will outlast your gun uh, and they're not as consistent as the 70 degrees. Um, the 70 degrees is not as consistent as the 50 or 60, um, but it is a lot more durable. Um, the 50 and 60 are more consistent, they're more accurate. Um, but they wear out a lot faster than the 70 degree ones. Um, so the 70 degree is a good middle ground in my opinion. Um, compared to racing tires, um, the softer uh, the rubber, the faster it will wear, but the most grip you'll have. If you get a harder rubber, then um, it won't wear as fast, but you won't get as much grip. However, nowadays I actually prefer the, uh, the 60 degree ones. Um, well, they're just a tap mark consistent and they also last for a very long time. Uh, with a 60 degree bucking under normal circumstances, you can expect it to last about 10k shots. Um, the 70 degree ones, um, the one I have right here, uh, this, is what, this is actually the bucking I use in my VSR currently. It has well over 20k shots through it, uh, I've actually lost count and it's still doing great. Um, so this will probably outlast your gun. Um, this won't, but it's a tad more accurate, so I would recommend the 60 degree Maple Leaf Monster Diamond Bucking. If you can't get one of those, um, then I would recommend the Autobot version, which is the new Diamond. And the Decepticon is the of the Delta shape, the Autobot is of the Diamond shape, 
so the Autobot is the most consistent one. Um, however, I haven't seen any stellar performance to really warrant the use of the new buckings, so I still prefer the old ones as they're more durable. Um, that's for VSRs. Um, if you have an AG uh, type barrel, such as with the Type 96, or if you just want to use an if you just want to use one in an AG, then you'll pretty much be stuck with the uh, uh, with the AG one, which looks like this. And the hardness is pretty much up to you. I would, however, um, still recommend 60 degrees uh, in normal use. If you're not using this in a sniper rifle, but in an assault rifle, which is also a great uh, idea, then you could also go with 50, as your FPS will be lower and um, you won't need such a hard bucking to keep the air seal uh, up to standards. Um, it'll be a tad more accurate, but it also wear it will also wear out faster. So um, yeah, you will have to uh, make that decision for yourself. I would recommend 60. Um, yeah, I think that covers everything. Um, so if you have any questions regarding this, uh, please let me know. And uh, thanks for watching.